dear student today we discuss about the new chapter yearly women's okay in this chapter we know about the yearly men's so first of all human beings are on a intelligent species okay we have different kind of species and human being also include a include into a species so it is a very intelligent species and they have adapted themselves to the to the changing climatic condition and have spread out to the various parts of the world it means that humans know how to survive or how to struggle with the climatic condition and how to adjust with the climates or weather conditions or with environment okay humans are well known next they learn to use the things they discovered modified things and invent things to make their lives more comfortable okay the yearly men to make their life more comfortable they use many things and they modified that and they discover many things and they invent many things to make their life more and more easy or we can say more comfortable they started to use stones for making their tools and therefore this period in the human history is known as the stone age so after some times the early means uh, the early means use stones for making their tools or very different kind of purpose so this period is known as stone stone age so what is stone age in this in this age early men learn about the use of stones okay so stone age is three type based on the quality of stones they used to make their tools okay the based on quality of stones uh, the stone age is divided into three types first one is paleolithic next one is mesolithic third one is neolithic okay so first of all we discuss about the paleolithic so paleolithic paleo means what old lithic means is so old stone age this is the other name of this age is called old stone age okay it lasted from 5 lakh to 10000 bce okay next what are the features of this uh paleolithic age first is that food gathers obviously food gathers means what in this stage humans were nomads nomads means that people uh, who move from one place to another place for searching of food or for un unfavorable weather condition that people are called nomads okay so on their stays to humans were nomads and they did not stay at one place and kept moving from one place to another and they move in groups and they killed animals and ate raw meat so they are live like a nomads means they move from one place to another place in groups okay not alone in groups and they kill animal and uh, eat raw meat next what kind of clothing means what kind of cloth they wear they used to leaves or bark of the trees and furs of animals to cover their bodies next dwelling place they used to live on trees or in caves normally they lives uh, on trees or in caves and caves provided a shelter from heat rain and protect them from wild animal why they lived in cave because cave provide uh, them to shelter uh, and it protect them from um, heat rain and wild animals okay next we discuss about the tools which on the main important term they use stone tools obviously they uh, make their they made their tools uh, through the stones and but these stones are not a very good quality okay because this is the uh, starting point of to make tools uh, which one uh, which are the not so developed okay next tool making techniques okay they have different kind of techniques to making their tools with stones so early men could have been made by two technique they use two techniques one is stone on stone and second one is your pressure flacking so next what is the technique of stone on stone this technique was used in which one stone which was to be shaped was 
held in one hand and another stone was held in the other hand okay it means um, the in this technique they used two kind of two, two kind of stones okay one is shaped was held in one hand and other one is the stone was held in the other hand and for example like a hammer like structure okay second one is the pressure plaking pressure plaking it is a method of a trimming the edge of a stone tools by removing stole uh, small stony flakes by pressing on the stones with a sharp stone rather than a striking it it means uh, in this technique they trimming the edge of the stone and make them so sharp to kill animals easily okay these are the two techniques of stones one is hammer like structure and other one is uh, sharp structures or sharp stone uh, they trimming the edge of the stone and make a sharp one okay next discovery of fire normally it is discovery by accidentally okay how it is accidentally it is likely that two stones might have rubbed together and creating a spark when uh, two uh, two stones um uh, rub together they create some spark or fire and which have lead to discover of fire so this lead to discover of fire so uh, uh, it it prove that uh, very useful to early men the fire prove that very useful to early men they use it to cook meat and they light fire outside their caps to protect themselves from wild animals and they kept themselves warm in cold weather